Since its opening in 1980, the Japanese American Cultural and Community Center has become the largest ethnic cultural center of its kind in the United States. It is the preeminent presenter of Japanese and Japanese American and Asian American arts in the United States, and it is home to cultural, educational, and community organizations. Located in Little Tokyo, the historic heart of the Japanese American community in Los Angeles, the JACCC was the dream of visionary Issei and Nisei pioneers to create a permanent center for the community and its future generations. We cannot have a community, we cannot have a strong, vibrant downtown, we cannot have a strong, vibrant little Tokyo without arts and culture. And that's exactly what the center is here for. Uh, the JCC has had a, a long history. Uh, it's been here for over 30 years now. It has been really the fulcrum, the kind of gathering place for Japanese art and culture, Japanese American art. It preserves a culture and, and a belief system and a way of life uh, that everyone can benefit from. Uh, for me every year to come to Koto Hajime and to participate in that and to understand what it means. I mean, I've actually reset my life and my calendar to this calendar now. And so I know that it's become a part of me too. And I owe that to JACCC. The Japanese culture brings a particular perspective on the world. And what is unique about it is this center provides that very distinct quality of what it is to be Japanese. And that's very important to maintain. It clarifies my relationship to other cultures and my insights, whether it's Hispanic, African American, the Korean community. And that diversity is what makes this place so unique. We have been the place where no and kabuki and bunraku has most been presented outside of Japan. I think that the theater, again, provides an amazing space for performing artists. I think that the plaza provides an amazing space for so many different types of community events. The vision for the JCCC is ultimately to become a national portal for Japanese art and culture. So I know for myself, one of my favorite Little Tokyo experiences that I ever had was um, when Tad Nakamura premiered his film, A Song for Ourselves. I've been searching for this sense of belonging, a sense of being a part of something larger. And I remember sitting in the audience and seeing Tracy Kato Kiriyama, which I'm seeing Nobuko Miyamoto and Charlie Chin performing and then having Blue Scholars, Native Guns there, and then Tad with his film. It was just this really amazing experience. And I, I really felt in that moment that I was part of something larger. I always knew um, I wanted to premiere the film in Little Tokyo, uh, just because the content of the film is about community. It is so important for the community, the city, and anyone who benefits from the programming here to support JACCC. Just today, as I watched Bloomfest and I saw the little kids practicing their sumo uh, wrestling, you know, there are lots of children, there were lots of parents. It was out in the plaza, and this was a day for families here in Little Tokyo, and it was free. Now, we need to continue to provide programming like that for anyone who wants to come here. Programs is really at the heart of what the JACCC is about. And in order to develop programs, cultivate audiences, make sure that we're relevant for the audience base, it takes resources. And so in order to ensure that these things will be available for the next generation and expanded audiences in the Southern California area, we're going to need um, the support of our community. They have supported us in the past and we need their support even more today. We talk so much about going digital and we talk about bringing community online and we talk about building links that way. But if you don't have a physical space to complement that, what are you building? It's just so vital and if we don't preserve this place, then it's gonna be one huge treasure that the community cannot afford to lose.